Hey guys, Jack here from the Life Fit Studio, back with another mobility video for you. Today's focus is all about the potty squat. Really, really fantastic exercise that we should all be using every day as part of our daily habits. It is, after all, the position of natural rest. So, how we're going to do it, we're going to start off with our feet shoulder width apart. And I'm going to angle out my feet at about 30 degrees, okay? Now, if during the movement you feel yourself being sprung backwards, the more you turn your feet out, the less you should feel that spring back. So I start off about 30% angle in my feet, and then I soften my knees. Now, they're just that bit soft, I'm not bending them yet. So as they're soft, so that's step, step one is get the feet set, step two, soften the knees, and step three is I want to hinge back at the hips. So I push my hips and my arse back towards the wall, Notice how my legs haven't, or my knees haven't bent anymore. So once I feel I can't hinge anymore, then I want to drop down into the space. Good. Now, from here, I don't want my knees collapsing in either, so I want to use my elbows, or my hips if I can, to help myself keep those knees out. And that is the potty squat. Now again, if you're feeling as if you're being sprung back, usually it's one of two things. Either your big toes inability to lift, like so, or your ankle joints inability to close, so to close in that position. So if you're struggling here, and again, you're feeling like you're being sprung backwards, you can do a few things to help. You can get something in front of you, like a chair or a bar or something like that, to hold on to, to keep yourself pulled forward. Yeah? Or you can isolate your big toe and your ankle joint and spend time with them closed. So, I've done my potty squat practice, I was struggling getting deep and keeping the heels underground, I know it's I've sprung back a lot, so now I'm gonna work on this joint. So, all I need to do that is, as, as I said, spend time with the close. So I'm pushing my body weight over my knee, trying to get that area used to closing in. And I'm gonna bring that as well, lifting my heel off the ground right towards the big toe to get the big toe in that position as well. So this may take a few days of various practice. Another way to practice closing that ankle joint is if I had a stairs or a step, I'm just gonna place my foot and I'm dropping my heel. So it's anything to get the foot into that closed position. Okay, another way to get to our potty squat. I'm here on all fours. I tuck my toes in underneath. And I start to rock back, take my knees off, yeah, so I'm working in this plane to eventually, I might need to be here with my heels up. And again, I'm working that big toe, working that ankle joint, until eventually I can get my heels on the ground. So still I'm holding on or I'm using the floor to keep my balance. And that is another way into it. And again, I try and relax, read a book, brush the floor, do what I need to do. We should all be spending a few minutes in this position. Again, if it wasn't for toilets that sit us up at 90 degrees of hip flexion, we'd be here every day, two, three, five, twelve times a day, depending on how often you go. It's a really, really good movement. It says an awful lot. It gives your lower back a good break, really good for your hip mobility, and really good for everything else too. So give it a go. Again, if you're struggling, things to work on, your big toe's ability to lift, so into that position your ankle joint's ability to dorsiflex, so that's the ankle joint's ability to close, and then of course just regular hip mobility, so you will feel while you're doing the potty squat the various areas of your hips, so whether it's in external rotation, internal, so ask the question, what am I feeling, where am I feeling it, and then go and check out our other videos, or the rest of the interwebs to see how you could improve those areas. So that is it for today, that is the potty squat, I am Jack here at the Life Fit Studios, Thanks again for watching, comment, give us loads of feedback, find us on social media if you have any questions, at LifeFit Studios, Instabook and Facegram and all of those, and at Jack O'Halloran underscore IE. Thanks for watching and stay good.